What's good, Crown Family? Hope you're having a good day today. If not, I hope the video bring a little light to your day. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to check out top 10 places to visit in the UK. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. It ain't going to hold you up. Let's get it. What's up, guys? My name is Ryan Shirley, and I spent the last few years exploring the United Kingdom, and I want to show you my favorite places. So here's my UK top 10. Wow. Oh, my goodness. That looks beautiful. Wow. The United Kingdom is made up of the countries of England, Wales, Northern Ireland, and Scotland. If you want to go back in time and feel like you're in a fairy tale or a Harry Potter film, the UK is the place wow. for you. It's easy to see why so many myths and legends were born here. It's one of the world's most enchanting places. All right, so for our first so you location, can visit we're going places? to visit possibly the most iconic city in the world, London. I've traveled more to London than any other international destination. I have to say it's my favorite city in the world and I just keep coming back. Everything from the double decker buses to the energy of Piccadilly Circus makes the city feel so alive. There's just so many places to see. You can check out the iconic Big Ben and walk across the ridge to see the Palace of Westminster. There's the Tower Bridge, which is possibly the most famous bridge in all of that London. You can go man. see the Stoic Guards at Buckingham Palace or take a ride on the London Eye. If you haven't already been to London, I'd highly recommend visiting. I like how they like kept a lot of their like older buildings. So it's like a, a blast from the past with a mixture of futuristic. Like that, that's dope to me. When you can, it's hard to beat the London atmosphere. There's no city like it in the world. All right, so after exploring London, we're gonna make the two hour drive over to Stonehenge. Located in Wiltshire, like England, shout out lies one of the most famous man-made rock structures in the world. There's a lot of mystery surrounding Stonehenge, like what was its purpose and how was it made. Archaeologists believe it was constructed back between 3000 to 2000 BC. Stonehenge consists Jeez. of a ring of rocks, each being around 13 feet high and weighing nearly 25 tons each. It's unclear what the exact purpose of Stonehenge was. It's believed that it was used as an astronomical observatory or a religious site. Either way, it sure makes you stop and think how people thousands of years ago were able to construct this. And the fact right, that it so just after Stonehenge, still in good head on over to the tack, Jurassic you know? Coast. While you won't find any dinosaurs nah. here, you that looks beautiful, but I would be afraid to stand close to that edge. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> on the beach. The Jurassic Coast is England's only natural like, no way I would stand close to that edge. It's popular with its white cliffs and picturesque beaches that are full of fossils formed over 65 million years ago. One of the most famous spots on the Jurassic Coast is Dirtledore. It's this limestone arch that goes straight into the ocean. There's a great beach there, and I just can't think of a better place to spend during the hot English summers. One of my favorite wow, spots man. on the Jurassic Coast is Old Harry's Rocks. Now, special thanks to my friend David Rule for providing this footage. He has an awesome Instagram and YouTube that I'll provide in the description below. I remember the first time I saw his picture of this place and I was just baffled by the scenery there. The Old Harry Rocks are these sea stacks that are made completely out of chalk that mark the end of the Jurassic Coast. In World War II, the stacks were used as target practice for pilots, so that's kind of crazy. Wow. I just love the combination of the green meadows with the white cliffs and the blue ocean it's like a straight drop to it's like somebody came and just raised the island up out the water and it's like a straight drop but this this looks familiar i'm not sure if this is the same place but i seen something like this on black mirror i could be wrong i mean it's just hard to beat that scenery all right so after the jurassic coast we're gonna head up north to visit the country of wells now wells is located in the southwest part of great britain it's famous for its mountainous national parks, picturesque coastline, and distinct Welsh language. One of the most scenic places in Wales is the Snowdonia National Park. It's a region in northwest Wales that is known for its mountains and lakes. The highest peak in Wales, Mount Snowdon, is located in the park with an elevation of 10,085 meters. Wow, you can man. hike on up there or you can take the Snowdon Mountain Railway to the top. If I don't know about hiking, you might but, uh... be able to see Ireland across the sea. <laughs> All right, so after Wales, we're going to head to the Isle of Man. Now, located in the Irish Sea, right between England and Ireland, lies a rugged island known for its rural landscapes and medieval castles. While it's technically not part of the United Kingdom, it has status of crown dependence and external relations. The Isle of Man has had an interesting history 
Humans have lived on it since 6500 BC. Wow, that water is like century, clear, bro. By Norway, but in 1266, the island became part of Scotland, and now it is a self-governing isle. An interesting place on the Isle of Man is Peel Castle. It was constructed by Vikings in the 11th century and just sits right on the ocean. I mean, it's a pretty cool castle if you ask me. All right, so after the man. Isle of Man, we're going to head across the sea to visit Northern wow. Ireland. Now, Ireland is full of just beautiful scenery, dramatic coastal cliffs, and countless castles. Back in 19... Why are there so many, like, steep cliffs there? Like, geez, it, it, it literally looks like somebody took a knife and just cut the island in half, bro. Like, that's how steep they are. Twenty-one Ireland was split into Northern and Southern Ireland as a result of the Government of Ireland Act of... Wait a minute, is that a one way all the way up? How do people get down? Ireland was split into Northern and Southern Ireland as a result of the Government of Ireland Act of 1920. While Southern Ireland became a free Irish state, Northern Ireland remained within the United Kingdom. The capital of Northern Ireland is the city of Belfast, which is the birthplace of the Titanic ship. One of the most iconic places in Northern Ireland is the Dark Hedges. It's this road lined with beech trees planted in the 18th century. It was used as a filming location for the Game of Thrones. On the northern coast, you can check out the known. Rick Already Road it looks Bridge like or see the basalt columns at the Giant's Causeway. I mean, there's just so much history and beauty in Ireland. And it just makes me want to go there and explore. All right, so for our next location, we're going to head to Scotland to visit the Isle of Skye. This is probably my all-time favorite place in the UK. You literally feel like you're in a fairy tale when you visit there. I was lucky enough to go to the Isle of Skye last summer, and it's about a five-hour drive from Edinburgh. One of the most impressive places in the Isle of Skye is the Old Man of Store. It's one of my all-time favorite wow. rock formations. I felt like I was on the set of Game of Thrones when I was there. Now to get to the Old Man of Store, it's about a four kilometer hike. You walk through some conservation gates and you'll reach the famous rock pinnacles. I went for sunrise and sunset and both occasions were breathtaking. When I was That's there, there was just like crows flying around the rock and, and there were some sheep running around. I mean, it was Aww. just a magical place. So the legend of the Old Man of Store is supposedly a giant lived there a long time ago and when he was buried, his thumb was left sticking out of the ground. When you go there, it's ah. easy to see why it's one of the world's most iconic rock formations. It's one of my all-time favorite places, and I recommend everyone to see it at least once in their life. Just a few minutes away from the Old Man of Store, there is a breathtaking waterfall called Meow Falls that cascades down to the ocean. There's see, my only thing with a lot of these places, and I feel like I'm going to miss out on seeing a lot of beautiful places, is my fear heights and I can't swim. That's like the two worst things because it's just like I want to see the beautiful beautiful ocean and the clear waters, but I can't swim. I can't really experience it. I can go there, but I, I can't swim. And my fear of heights, I can't I could never get close to like like cliffs like this. Like I would freak out. Like and I and I can't do no like mountain climbing. I mean, well, I wouldn't do mountain climbing, but you know, I, I can't climb high things or I I literally freak out, bro. There's a nice viewpoint where you can look at the waterfall. The surrounding sea cliffs in the area are also stunning. One of the most famous is Kilt Rock, which are right by Meal Falls. I mean, it's just such a cool area. There aren't many waterfalls that fall straight into the ocean. If you're looking to find some fairies, you may want to check out the fairy pools. There are these picturesque blue pools that lie at the base of the black Wow, pools. man. When I was there, there were so many midges. That's I didn't dare get close to water, so make sure you bring some bug spray. If you want to do a beautiful hike, I'd also recommend visiting the Korang. It's one of the most beautiful areas in the Isle of Sky. You feel like you're walking on a giant golf course. I found this crazy vantage point to get a good 360 view of the whole area. All right, so after the Isle of Sky, we're going to head over to the nearby Eileen That's a lot of Donan walking Castle. Now. If you drive into the Isle of Sky, you will drive right by this. It's one of my favorite castles in the UK, wow, situated man. on a small tidal island at the point where the three great sea locks meet. The castle was built in the 13th century. I'm so mad at myself. I didn't visit the castle when I was there. I wasn't able to check it out. That's one of my biggest regrets of when I visited the UK, so don't make the same mistake I made. All right, so after castle, we're going to head over to Scotland's most Bro, I love trains. Locations. The Glenfinan Viaduct is located at the top of Loch Shill in the West Highlands of Scotland. It was completed around 1898. This may look familiar because it was featured in the Harry Potter films. When I was there, I wanted to get close to the bridge, so I walked underneath it. I was just shook by how big it actually was. After I hiked to the top to get a good vantage point so I could see the famous train go across the viaduct. Just really reminds you of those Harry Potter movies. Man, right, so that's gotta be something to see up close. We're gonna head over to Edinburgh. Now, if you wanna go back in time, Edinburgh is a must. It's where J.K. Rowling wrote her Harry Potter novels. When I started traveling, this was one of the first cities I visited. It's a medieval old town with 
intricate neoclassical buildings, cobblestone streets, and beautiful gardens. The iconic Edinburgh Castle overlooks the city and is home to Scotland's crown jewels. When I was there, I didn't go into the castle because I was being too cheap, but one of my favorite places was Calton Hill. Hey, I, you gotta save your money. Of the whole entire city. While we're still in Edinburgh, we're going to head over to Arthur's Seat. Now, Arthur's Seat is located in Holyrood Park, and it's a short walk from Edinburgh Center. Arthur's Seat is an extinct volcano with an elevation of 823 feet. When I was there, I wanted to get as high as I could so I could see all of Edinburgh. I made a hike up, and I reached the top. It was just so windy when I was there. nearly blew me over. After Ain't I no hiked way. to the top, I had a good time oh my hiking goodness. around Holyrood Park That's and scary. enjoying the views of one of UK's most iconic cities. All right, well, that is it for my United Kingdom top. There's no way he stood out there, bro. See, this is what I mean. Like, I couldn't do anything like this. Bro, I would be, nah. I would, I would be shaking the whole way up. <laughs> the UK is just such a unique like, region in the world, and I hope all can witness its beauty and history. What was your favorite place in the video? Let me know in the comments below. I don't you guys really want know. It all channel, was Consider really good becoming to me. a patron, and where you get perks such as free travel guides and stock. Y'all make sure I go show him some love, man. I'm going to leave the original video link in the description. It's really dope to kind of see these uh, different places in the UK and the, the beautiful scenery, man. We'd love to visit there one day. We'd love to visit there one day, man. Shout out to all my UK subscribers also. Um, hope y'all enjoyed my reaction video. Until next time, let me know any other videos y'all want me to see do. And I'll try to get to them as soon as possible. And we out. Deuces.